Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk about the accuracy of this seven and a half inch nine millimeter AR. Okay, so this one is from Palmetto. It's the PX9. Uh, this one has like close to like 12,000 rounds on it. Okay, um, I've done, I, I have talked about this in the past. I have put in an eight ounce uh, buffer weight in here, which uh, softens the cycling action. Before I did that, I used to break hammer pins, and I had issues like that. Uh, but ever since I put the 8-ounce buffer weight, I have not really had any problems with things breaking. Now, it's 7.5 inches, which means the barrel stops here. If you look over here, the purpose of this linear comp is because I found that a lot of times when I'm training with uh, people, particularly women, and there's a great gun for training women on because... Uh, it is less front heavy, right? If I give them a 16 inch barrel, the gun tends to be more, you know, more front heavy, whereas they really like shooting the shorter ones, the AR pistols. Uh, but what I found is that it was a little too short, right? Because I find that the 10 and a half ones tend to be kind of perfect. Um, takes away, you know, pulls back on the, on the weight that's out front, but long enough so that they don't accidentally run their hands near the muzzle. So a lot of times when I was watching women shoot this, and guys too i would find that their hands would start to slide a little bit forward made me really nervous and that's the purpose of this linear comp okay so it's basically there as a safety precaution but uh like i said this has about twelve thousand rounds on it i i'm sure i've done an accuracy test in the past i i uh um i don't remember uh I, there might be a video floating around out there but what i did do today which i know i had not done in the past uh, with this rifle, the seven and a half inch nine millimeter AR, is I took it out to 150 yards. So at 100, I mean, first of all, I shot a whole bunch of other groups over here um, at about 100 yards. Okay, now it is a little bit windy today. You can see the wind ribbons. It is a little bit windy. So uh, nine millimeter, because it's going slower, the wind does tend to have a little bit more effect on the bullet. Um, but basically, I was coming in at 100 yards at around somewhere between four and five inches at 100 yards, most of my shots. But then I went out to 150 yards. Uh, and basically, I think the wind died down. The stars kind of lined up. And at 150 yards, I got a total group of four and three quarter inches. So that's these, the shots here without the circles. One two, three, four, five. So it's a five shot group. Okay. Now if I discount that one, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I pulled that one a little bit. Uh, basically I have like a, a, a three and a half inch group, right? But I'm going to include all, I'm going to include all five shots for this grouping. We're going to say it's four and three quarter inches at 150 yards. So if you, the, the math is right, if you divide it by 1.5, that gives you your accuracy at a hundred yards with, which brings it down to 3.19. So I'm just gonna round up to three and a quarter uh, MOA at 100 yards, okay? So that's so this rifle over here, it's about three and a quarter MOA. Um, I'm really happy with that. Now, if you notice over here, uh, when I shot it, when I was shooting it at 100 yards, I was a little bit to the right over here. I didn't know if that was the wind pushing me, uh, you know, um, what I did is I, when I went out to 150 yards, I saw that they were still going a little bit to the right. So I, I adjusted, I think, three clicks to the left. And uh, it, it centered it up. Okay, And that's how I got this um, four and three quarter inch group at 150. 3.19 MOA. Okay? Um, so uh, I think that's, that's very decent accuracy for a nine millimeter in a seven and a half inch barrel. Um, so I wanted to kind of put that out there. Now, um, a lot of times people ask me, well, what, you know, does, aside from training women, which is a, a, an excellent purpose for this rifle, right? And, and, and men too, but for women, just because it's less front heavy, um, is there a self-defense purpose to this rifle? Can be used for self-defense. Well, obviously you can use any gun for self-defense. Uh, but is there a reason why you would want to use this uh, versus a, um, a um, uh, uh, you know, five, five, six in seven and a half. So if you, it, let's say that you have decided that your barrel length is gonna be seven and a half. Okay, that's not what I recommend, you know, but let's say you've decided that 
for whatever reason, it needs to be seven and a half inches barrel length. The issue that I find is uh, with the 5.56, five, uh, it's extremely loud, okay, especially indoors it's going to be crazy because you're going to have the sound echoing back on you. So it's extremely loud and there's a lot of muzzle flash. The, the muzzle flash with the 5.56 five, and the 5.56 five, barrel is tremendous, uh, even with a linear comp in the front. I've done videos where I'm shooting, shooting that in low light conditions and, you know, it basically looks like there's lightning going on, okay? Um, so, if you need to be at seven and a half inches, the 9mm is very feasible in the sense that it is not extremely loud, okay? Um, and, it, and also, you don't get that muzzle flash, right? And I've done night videos where I'm actually shooting these two side by side. So, you eliminate those two issues. You eliminate the muzzle flash, eliminate the ex excess loudness. Um... Now, what are you giving up in what are you giving up right so the first thing that you're giving up is about 230 foot pounds of energy right because when i when i uh, ran this through the chronograph i did a separate video on this the seven and a half inch barrel gets about 400 and uh, gets four exactly 405 foot pounds okay of energy let's just say 400 foot pounds uh the um the 10 inch got something like 430 and the 16 inch got something like 460, okay? Um, so, and we're talking energy there. So, uh, you know, normally when, we, when we're when we talking about nine millimeter, uh, we're talking about it out of like a four inch handgun. Uh, so nine millimeter usually comes in somewhere around uh, 350, 360. So because of the, the longer barrel, uh, we're up to about 400 foot pounds, which is like a 40 count now, right? In terms of power. Um, so uh, if I were so if I was shooting a 556 five, and seven and a half inches, uh, now normally when we're shooting this 556, five, we're shoot, let's say if we're shooting it at a 16 inch barrel, um, we're getting something like 1100 foot pounds of energy, right? 1100 foot pounds of energy, maybe 1200 somewhere around there. But um, you know it depends on your ammunition. So 11 to 1200 foot pounds of energy. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's closer to 1200. Um, um, if you're shooting Tula, it's 1100. But uh, when I tested it, the ammunition out in a 5.56 and a seven and a half inch barrel, uh, it, it pretty much got cut almost exactly in half. So when I tested the 5.56 and the seven and a half, I'm getting about 630 foot pounds of energy. Okay? Uh, so the question now becomes okay, so when you go from, uh, from let's say from nine millimeter up to five, five, six, the way I see it, you're only gaining an additional 230 foot pounds of energy, right? You're going from, you know, uh, 400 foot pounds of energy, which I think is very respectable for handgun, right? In a self-defense capacity against, against two legged predators, right? Um, you're going up to, uh, um, versus a five, five, six, which is, um, uh, about 630. Now, basically that's like at a 357 level, right? So, I mean, I, I, I think that the, personally, I think that the extra energy that you get does not justify the extra loudness uh, and the muzzle flash, okay? So, uh, when, and here's the thing, with, when you have a 5.56 five, in a, um, um, you know, in a seven and a half inch barrel, you don't get the benefit of that, that little 22 you know, going that like 3,000 feet per second, right? Uh, where it does like damage to surrounding tissue. Um, so, so you're losing that, right? So uh, in either case, all you're doing is pretty much punching little holes, okay? Uh, so for that reason, if you have to be at seven and a half inches, which I, you know, in, in a home defense situation, I, I think I, I, I mean, I just prefer a standard uh, 16 inch, where I think this really becomes useful is uh, uh, inside of a car, right? So if you're inside of a car, yeah, the shorter barrel can actually be very useful. So that's where I think these um, um, uh, these uh, seven and a half inch barrels are useful, especially if you collapse it, okay, and if you put it in a um, uh, in a single point sling inside of a trench coat, you know, uh, during a during riot season, right? So now you can, you know, people don't know that you got, you know, you you got a um, uh, a, a, a respectable firearm, right? Because to me, pistols are basically a backup gun. Uh, you now have a respectable firearm that you can shoot to like 150 yards and get, you know, uh, you know, uh, three and a quarter MOA. Okay. Now, 
here's the thing: the place where you lose, where where the five five six and seven and a half, I think, excels is if you decide that hey, you need to be at seven and a half inches because again, you're you know you're you're in and out of a car, right? Uh, if you decide that you need to be at seven and a half inches, but uh, there's a possibility that you might be shooting all the way out to let's say 500 yards, definitely 5.56, five, okay? Because uh, with the nine millimeter, even in the six inch barrel, uh, I've had lots of difficulty trying to get out to 300 yards. I've gotten there, I've made hits, they're pretty wide. The wind tends to move the nine millimeter around a lot. With the, uh, with the um, um, seven and a half inch, 5.56, five, uh, I believe the last time I did it, I got a seven inch group at 300 yards. Okay. So, you know, definitely, you know, excellent group at 300 yards and that will take you out to 400 yards and you can definitely do good, at least very good suppression fire all the way out to 500 yards. Okay. So that's where I think the five, five, six and seven and a half, uh, beats out the nine millimeter in seven and a half where you know the, the you know if you again if you have to be at seven and a half inches you got the ability to to work in that 300 to 500 yard range with that okay uh whereas with with the with the nine millimeter ar you're going to be working like from zero distance kind of like max 150 yards you can get out to 200 yards um i've done videos where i'm shooting 200 yards but it, the groups really start to work open up you know but at 150 yards no problem three and a quarter moa i'm plenty happy with that so they're my thoughts on that uh hope you guys enjoyed the video drop some comments below and i'll talk to you all soon